As of January 16th, 2022, there are 50 volcanoes which are actively erupting. These include volcanoes such as Karimsky in Russia, which is a prominent and highly active stratovolcano constructed inside of a large caldera which formed 7,700 years ago. It also includes Kilauea in the Hawaiian island chain, which has been near continuously erupting for the last three and a half months. With this being said, here are a few of this week's major volcano-related news stories. In Hawaii, the Kilauea volcano in the last several weeks has been having intermittent cycles of on-off activity characterized by tall lava fountains followed by a brief pause in activity. Meanwhile, in India, the nation's only volcano to erupt in historic times known as Barren Island produced a new volcanic eruption. And now, for this week's top story. In the nation of Tonga, a surprise second new volcanic eruption of the year began at the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano. This volcano in Tonga had previously erupted from December 20th of 2021 to January 1st of 2022. Through intermittent white and black plumes of water vapor and ash, the island expanded in size by 72%. However, unknown to many at the time, some of the newly created land was located in a precarious position and was structurally unstable. This land was located over a sheer cliff representing Hunga Tonga's northern caldera rim. Thus, when the volcano reactivated on January 14th, it generated a small tsunami as an estimated 50 million cubic meters of rock slid towards the ocean floor. This tsunami was only 30 centimeters or 12 inches in height but was a sign of an even worse event to come. A day later, on January 15th at 4.28pm local time, a far larger landslide occurred. As half of a cubic kilometer of volcanic rock slid into the ocean, a towering tsunami was generated, which hit the islands of Tonga a mere 15 minutes later, with a maximum observed wave height being 2.5 meters or 8 feet. As the energetic tsunami seemingly refused to dissipate, it went on to strike the coasts of New Zealand, Australia, and Hawaii. After tsunami advisories were issued for the U.S. West Coast, the tsunami went on to hit that region alongside Alaska and western Canada. What had just occurred may have been the largest volcanic eruption of the last decade. I would assign the eruption a preliminary rating on the Volcanic Explosivity Index of a 4. The loud boom associated with the landslide and magma interacting with seawater produced one of the loudest sounds ever heard. This sound reached more than 9,200 kilometers or 5,700 miles away and was heard in the towns of Kanai and Homer in Alaska. In Hawaii, Kilauea's several month long eruption is continuing, which is completely confined to its summit caldera. This lava has since overflowed onto the first of two caldera collapse blocks created by its 2018 eruption. However, as of late, eruptive activity has changed. Instead of being defined by continuous low levels of eruptive activity, there is instead a prominent on and off cycle. Beginning on December 4th, Kilauea began a series of cycles dominated by 2-4 to four days of lava effusion in the lava lake, followed by a 1-3 to three day pause in activity. During the onset of each new phase, large lava fountains are generated and the rate of lava effusion is at its highest. The rate of lava output subsequently decreases until it reaches zero, causing a pause in activity. This is marked by a pattern of uplift and subsidence representing the intrusion or absence of new magma in Kilauea's shallow magma chamber. My interpretation of these cycles is that the individual eruption of Kilauea is nearing its end and may only last for another month. Like in the case of Gelding Adalar in Iceland, the first phase of the eruption produced continuous lava effusion, while the second phase produced intermittent lava output as the overall supply of fresh magma decreased. In the context of Kilauea, it means that the potential rate at which lava can be erupted onto the surface is higher than the continuous supply of magma to it. Thus, the lava builds during pauses in activity, reaches a threshold, and erupts once again. When the shallow magma chamber is sufficiently drained, the eruption pauses. In addition to the eruption of Hunga Tonga, this week produced a second new volcanic eruption at India's active Barren Island volcano. This island represents the emergent summit of a 1.8 million year old stratovolcano and contains a 2 kilometer wide caldera in its center. On January 9th, a new eruption began at the volcano, producing a small plume of ash which is just barely detectable on satellite. My interpretation is that a minor phreatic eruption occurred. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes that raised alert statuses which are not erupting but could erupt in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron, Surreal Stray Cat, for supporting this channel.